Hi folks, what's up? Welcome to this video about styling with React. Um, first of all, I'd like to congratulate you because we're currently about halfway through the course. Uh, so good job for getting this far. I don't ask this often, but I would like to ask you to um, subscribe to the channel if you feel like it. You know, I will be bringing out much more of content like this and it won't just be React, but I probably in the future will also do things with Node and, and, and maybe some other technologies. So um yeah if you can sub subscribe to the channel that would mean a lot to me having said that let's get into uh styling so um styling in react is not that much different from you know styling any other uh, web page uh, or or application um you can simply use css or sassy css for that um but two more popular uh, ways to do it is with CSS modules or styled components. And there's also uh, a library called Emotion, which is very similar to styled components. And uh, uh, in, 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 well, in the upcoming videos, we'll, we will only be looking at styled components, not Emotion, but you can definitely use that one as well. And there's also some other options out there. Uh, there's so-called component libraries, and then you can think about uh, Material UI and Ant Design. And those libraries kind of like provide you out of the box components, right? So these are uh, components. Let's imagine like a like a like a blog article component. It's styled. You can import it in, in your application, and you don't have to style it anymore because you know it already looks pretty good. The problem, though, with Material UI is a little bit that as soon as you need to create something custom, you know, like a custom design. Uh, becomes pretty difficult to do that with material UI and it almost fe feels like you're finding that library to make it look like you know in a way that it was not intended to be so um, uh, you know if, if you're building your own project and and you you find the material UI suits your needs then you can definitely use it because it will save you a lot of time um, but otherwise if you really have to make something custom I don't really recommend it um, on the other hand, you also have CSS frameworks. You can think about Tillwind and Semantic UI and Bootstrap, and there's man like dozens and dozens of others. And these frameworks, you know, some of them also have like uh, the uh, the components sort of like you can import. Um, but something they all have in common is like that they have these sort of utility classes. So this is, for example, something that's being styled with Tillwind. And you see right here, they set a class name and then they um, they have all these specific properties that make things look like this. Um, as you can see, it, it kind of like clogs up your HTML pretty quickly. Um, but in some cases, you know, uh, a lot of people like to use Tillwind. To, uh, but uh, we will not be looking at those. We will only be looking at CSS and Sassy CSS. And But right there, we will find that you can easily get uh, so-called specificity problems. So as of now, the most common ways, two ways to style your React apps is with either CSS modules or styled components. And, um, you know, honestly speaking, I personally do not really recommend one over the other. You know, they, they are both different and, uh, I think both are great to use. Uh, so if, you know, you ever have to make the decision to either choose for CSS modules or styled components, you know, just pick what you and your team like, or if you're working, you know, alone on a project, just pick something you'll like the most. But I think it's definitely good to know at least how both are working. So just a, you know, a quick summary of, of both. Uh, and of course, we will be learning about uh, about both of them in the in the upcoming videos. But the nice thing with CSS modules is, is that, you know, there's pretty much no learning curve. It's kind of like CSS. Um, and it already comes with Create React App. And uh, it's, it's, you know, it feels like you're just using CSS, but it just has some, you know, uh, some good things that prevent like specificity problems that you will get with your only using CSS. Um, now, styled components uh, is also pretty nice because, you know, I think that the three main uh, pros of using it is that uh, there is a very little chance of having unused CSS in your application, which is uh, good for performance. Um, 
And it's much easier to, you know, delete styles or, or uh, you know, actually components in your application uh, or to copy and paste them to other applications because your, um, your linter, you know, where all your errors show up in your, uh, in your, in your code editor will simply say like, Hey, I have some missing styles or, uh, Hey, you have some styles defined, but you haven't been using them. So that's definitely a nice thing with solid components. And it also allows you to make snapshot tests for your styles. Now, having that said, I think there are also, you know, some cons about styled components compared to CSS modules. And that is that the, like the HTML, like the DOM tree becomes a bit hard to read, um, both in your code editor, but also in your, uh, in your react, uh, developer tools and the code completion. It's just not as good as, uh, as with, uh, you know, just having a CSS file. So this might sound a little fake to you because you don't know yet what CSS modules and styled components is really about. So, um, yeah, in the next video, we're going to start with CSS and then, uh, go from there. So, uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you there.